everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Today I have a used 12 by 12 gallery wrapped canvas and I'm go just going to do a dirty cup pour on it. And as you can see, I've put down um, a layer of uh, Artist Law Flow Acrylic White along the edges and the corners and the sides just to help the paint flow. And I've had unicorn spit paint for a long, long time, ever since I started um, painting. And I keep looking at it and I thought, finally today, let's use some of this unicorn spit paint. And for those of you that don't know about this paint, um, I'll show you a bottle. This is the Blue Thunder. Unicorn spit paint is very thin. Um, so... It wouldn't be good to do like a ring pour. You'd really have to try and thicken it up somehow. But unicorn spit paint, the hues are very, very concentrated. So you need very little paint to get a beautiful color. And I am going to go over my colors with you right now. Like I said, this is the Blue Thunder. The quality of these paints is wonderful, but again, thin. The next one is called Lemon Kiss, and I combined the Lemon Kiss with Molly Red Pepper to give a really pretty um, orangey color, and I'll show you that in a minute. My next color is Golden Gosling, and it is very, very metallic-y, very shiny. And my last color is Navajo Jewel, a very, very pretty, like a dark turquoise color here. And my pouring medium today was um, about one part Floetrol, and then I added maybe a half a teaspoon of um, the paint to that, and maybe a teaspoon of the um, Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish and a little squirt of GAC 800. And let me show you consistency here. It See, it's a very thin paint. It doesn't even really leave a trace. Barely one, and then it disappears. No silicones added today. So, like I said, I'm just going to do a... A dirty cup pour. So I'm going to start layering my paints here and I'm just going to layer them down the side. That's the golden gosling there. And this is that orange color I made. Very pretty. Reminds me of the sun, sunshine color. And I'll put my red in. Very vibrant colors. And I just, I don't know why I don't use it more often than I do. And I will have enough paint to do one more layer here.
This golden gosling, when you mix it up, you really don't see a lot of uh, sparkle or shine in it. So I'm, I'm curious to see what is going to show on the painting. The reason I made an orangey color is I had the golden gosling and the lemon kiss was so close to that color that I wanted a little bit a little bit of differentiation between those two colors so that's why I mixed a little bit of the, the red in with it and I have a little bit of the blue left I'll just add that right at the end here. I haven't done a just a dirty cut pour in a long time. Okay. Just I'm going to start up a little higher here and just pour. I turn my cup just a little bit here. And then turn it back. And actually, I'll turn it this way. Just trying to dis distribute those colors as best I can. Now I'll just bring it down to the very bottom. Okay, it's very pretty in the cup. I think I will torch it now. And I can see some of that golden gosling, the sparkling, sparkliness coming through there. Okay, just going to get my gloves on here. I'm going to let that paint sit just a second. I know you can get the golden spit or the uh, unicorn spit paint online, and I'm, I'm pretty sure that's where I got mine. But again, it's, it's been quite a while. This, at this point, the only color I'm really not seeing come up a lot is the red. Little specks of it here and here and there, but see what we get when we start tipping. I remember a long, long time ago, I did a painting with Unicorn Spit. And when I turned the painting over, you could see it almost like soaked through the canvas. It was so concentrated. Very good quality. Try and bring it back into the middle a little bit here. I'm just going to take my time here today and on the tipping part. So 
So if there's a, a spot you'd want to fast forward, this would this would be the spot. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just bringing it back a little bit. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little bit of lacing going on down there. And unfortunately, I, I probably am going to lose that. It's very pretty. Let's bring it back to the middle here a minute. And I'll, I'm going to go down to this corner now. There is quite a bit of paint that I can tip off here, if need be. And I'm going to bring it back now. This is just going to be a really, really beautiful painting. I can tell by the colors. Just going to take a look at it here a minute. And I'm going to go down to this corner. And bring it back. I'm going to try and bring it down a little bit more into the center again. And take a look. Just fixing up my corner here. I'm going to try and tip to this corner. And bring it back. <clears throat> and I am going to go to this corner right away. And bring it back. And I'm going to take a look at it now. I'm checking my sides here too and my corners. And I think I'm going to tip a little bit more down this way and bring it back. And I'll bring it back. Just stretching this out a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to take another look.
and let's see here. Fix my corner here. Is very sparkly. There may be something in here. Yes, let me get that out. And I'm going to do a little tip this way. Again, just trying to stretch out some of the some of these colors a little bit. And I'm going to bring it back now. You can see some of that orange and the red now is coming out in the middle. And that's what I'm going for. And I'm going to tip down to this corner a little bit. And bring it back just get over that corner there we go now I'm gonna bring it back really starting to bring out the oranges and the reds here try and get that a little bit more into the middle now And I'm going to take a look. And I think I will torch it now. Okay, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with this. And I'm just going to turn it here because I think the way you're seeing it now would be the the layout of it, top to bottom. The orientation, I should say. Okay, and I'm going to get you down for a close-up. This painting, although it's a little bit on the darker side, I just love these colors. And again, this is a 12 by 12 gallery wrap canvas that I just did a dirty pour on with the um, Unicorn Spit Paint. And... Here is the upper left-hand corner. You can just see that sparkle. It's, it's beautiful. And in here, very nice. Lines are very pretty.
and I'll take you up the middle here. Very nice in here. One of my favorite spots right there. That was the the circle of the center of my circle when I was pouring there. Here's here it's very nice too. This is the right right upper corner here. And I'll take you down the side here. Very pretty in there. And this is the lower, the lower uh, right hand corner and you can just see all those sparkles in there. Very pretty. Okay, let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it. Make sure you hit the bell and choose all so you'll know the next time I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't. Until next time, take care everybody. Bye for now.